Hi everybody, this is Angelo Quiñones and you reach Zion Ministries. Zion Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come from that come straight from God's holy and inspired word, the Bible. How Biblos, by the way, post by e in Greek means how's it going? Manishma means the same thing in Hebrew. Y como esta in Spanish, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> because it's the bill. This is Angelo Quinones again, and I'm with my daughter, my famous daughter. She has 10,000 views. I think it's 11,000 views by now. I didn't even check it. At least 10,000 views, probably 11,000 views. Uh, Anna Devane, she's a special child. She's uh, almost five years old. Hi, hon. <laughs> so don't worry, she'll interrupt the study uh, eventually. So now this has to do with the presidency of the United States of America. And uh, so I was born in the United States to my chagrin in 1965. Actually, about six months before, or like five months before, something like that, like six months before. Actually, like uh, a little bit below six months before uh, my father-in-law. So I'm older than my father-in-law by about six months. Again, to my chagrin. And this has to do with the presidency of the United States of America. And a lot of people get the idea that because of this verse says what it says, that women shouldn't be president of the United States or any other country. But if you say that, well... You have to fit this the way it is in a, in, a, in, a, in a church context. Then women can't be leaders at all. You know, that's not true. I mean, there's leaders all over the place. The, the, the days of the honeymooners are over, over guys. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, instead of a leader, you have to be a follower. That, 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 that's peanuts. No pun intended. You know, the, 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 you know, the arguments of Jackie Gleason, you know, Ralph Crandon, you know, the, you know, the fictional character. Those things are over. 1951, 1952. Those, those, those things are over. Now, before I get into this verse, I had a debate and campaign about this topic, okay? Um, and it was actually at the time of Hillary Clinton's, uh, you know, running for uh, the presidency, okay? And my, and my contention was that Hillary, Hillary Clinton was going to win. Now, she lost... Due to you know probably uh, Russian interference and stuff like that, but she but she but she lost though, and she took it she took it <laughs> she took it like a van right okay, but Donald Trump won. But this is the thing about the Jehovah's Witness Mark from Missouri that, that his argument was false on this on this um, on this uh, point. He was right that you know that Trump was going to win. Because I picked Hillary Clinton to win But he picked Donald Trump to win Because of the wrong reason He says that God will not allow A woman to have authority uh, As a president That's bull Let's read this text Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Let's read this text Like I said before before we read it The, the days of the honeymooners are over Those days are over The 1950s are over guys in the 1960s, in a sense, it's not over to the, because there's still a racial injustice and racial uh, profiling and racial this and racial. I understand, but the, 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 we're not in the 60s, though. We're not in the 50s. We're not living at the time, okay, all right, that a, that a driver, okay, a white driver, can tell a black woman to sit at the back of the bus, now, some women who are black are, are driving the bus, though. They're driving the bus. They're not asked to sit in the back of the bus because they're black, like Jackie in the, in the, in the movie of Jackie Gleason. I, I'm not like Jackie Gleason uh, um, of uh, uh, Jackie Robinson. But those days are over. You understand what I'm saying? Before I get into this text, I mean, the little rascals were way beyond their years. Integrating, okay, black uh, children with white children in school. Well, that was unheard of at the time. There was, there was a segregation. There was separation, you understand what I'm saying? But the little rascals in Star Trek were way beyond the Lieutenant Uhura. Which means freedom, by the way. It was actually a or something like that, you know. But then they changed it to a hora, a hora. You know what I'm saying? And then her first name was Star. 
you know, I forgot the name of that. That was kind of strange. So also, you know what I'm saying? But this idea that 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 that, that a woman can't be president is God, you got the. God, God is not interested. He's interested in that because he forms everything. You know, he, he he's he's the leader. He's the commander in chief. But let's get to this text. Let's get to this text over here. Record it. It's a hi, hi, my love. It says over here, but I. This is the Apostle Paul speaking. But I do not allow. I think the King James says suffer. That's why we need a new translation of the Bible. A woman to uh, teach, it says over here, okay? To a woman to teach or to exert or, or to exercise authority over a man, but to remain quiet. Oh, come on, man. And quote, by the way. You understand what I'm saying? This is, this is, not, this is not, this is in the context of the church. Okay, you know what I want to say? Let me check my baby for a second. Let me check my baby. Because I just fed her, so the thing is that maybe she pulled. Hey, my love, why you, why you, why you like that? Stop that. Come on, you have to be strong with special children, you know. There's no pool, my love. Come on, stop that. Come on, stop it and go to sleep. Come on. Go to sleepy. A tickle, tickle. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the Apostle Paul says over here, let's say, let's, let's break this down. And we're going to look at the Greek, you know. It says over here, but I do not. The, the Apostle Paul speaking. Now, now you remember the context. Anna, stop it. Stop. It says over here. That the Apostle Paul is speaking. So the Apostle is speaking. It's not the government. It is not the state. It's not a governor, it's not a mayor, you know, it's not a senator, it's not a congressman of any degree. Yeah, who's speaking? The Apostle Paul is speaking to Timothy. These are one of the pastoral epistles, letters to the church. It's not to the state, and it's not to any branch of government, you understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. This is not the Apostle Paul addressing Nero. The, this is not a, an epistle addressing the Roman soldiers, per se. A, 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 am I clear? This is the Apostle Paul addressing the Christian kick, the church. Okay? Timothy was a pastor. A young pastor, half Hebrew and half Greek. <laughs> that's the that's the the in 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 Greek. You understand what I'm saying? The Greek uh, raw. Ah, you, you understand? Okay. This has nothing to do with the state. Nothing to do with the state. This has everything to do with the church. Let's read it again. Let's break it down. It says over here, but I mean, in the Apostle Paul, do not allow. Okay, a woman to teach. Well, he's not talking about teachers in school. Because he says, uh, you know, and he's not talking about that women shouldn't teach in the congregation. Let's just break it down even further. They shouldn't teach men in the church, women. Why? Because they were deceived. They were in, a, you know what I'm saying? They were deceived by, by, by Satan himself in the garden. So since they were deceived, they're not to have authority over the kirk, over the church. And that's supposed to be pastors. And I know that a lot of people say, oh, that, that was for the, the time of the apostle Paul. But that's why the church is, it is what it is. So you have these Mayor Baker, Baker Eddies, you know, uh, running around. You know what I mean? But this has to do with the woman, okay, teaching in church, but teaching over men. Because we, we see in other uh, 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 scriptures, we see that they can teach uh, children and they can teach, okay, women. Women in the kirk, in the church, can teach other women and can teach children. The elect lady 
Okay, uh, taught the children, uh, found and recorded in one of the epistles of, of John. Either I think it was uh, Second John, the elect lady. I'm very happy to see that my children, uh, you know, walking in the faith or whatever the case may be. You understand what I'm saying? So they are allowed to, to, to teach in, 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 the, in the kick, but they're, they're allowed only to teach women and other women and children, meaning women are allowed to teach women and children. Okay. So this says over here, it's not talking about that he's not al he's not allowing women in general to teach in school. Okay, <laughs> you know that would that be the would 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 to God that that be the case sometimes? All right. By the way, a lot of people say, "Where is God in in, in you know in, in all these shootings and where, why does He prevent all these shootings in school in the United States of America?" I'm talking about why doesn't He do this? Why doesn't He do that? Well, wait, wait, wait just a wait, wait, just a wait, uh, cotton pig and singing. You're the ones who took God out of school. You can't take God out of school anyway. He's still there. But but according to prayer, according to you know um, what was her uh, name. Uh, that witch that died in 1995, you know, uh, 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 Madeline O'Hara, the atheist, famous atheist, uh, the, the most hated woman in America at the time of her uh, life. Uh, she she went to the Supreme Court and took her out of school in 1963. I don't want to hear any bitching, whining, and complaining about the people in the United States blaming God for this and that. You took them out of school in 1963 and used the Supreme, the Supreme Court to do it. And the same witch, you understand what I'm saying, was trying to take, uh, uh, you, know, uh, the, um, you know, the word of God and God out of NASA. She was witching and complaining when uh, one of the astronauts was reading Genesis, okay, uh, in space. You can't witch and whine and complain about that God doesn't do this and God doesn't do that. And you're the one who, to, who tried, you know, to take him out of school in 1963 and you took prayer out of school. So if you take prayer out of school, well, don't, don't complain about the, 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 the affairs in, in school. Don't complain about it. And all these people that call themselves Republicans and hold, they hold the Second Amendment more than the Bible. But don't complain when well, you have all these mass shootings and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? And you not wanting to do a darn thing about it with, with your uh, count with your with your with your uh, you know in Congress, you don't want to do nothing about these rifles and stuff like that that are being used, uh, you know, to uh, to uh, to gun down uh, innocent children and innocent teachers and innocent whoever that's in school. You know, so you, you don't what you want and complain. Oh, I want my guns. Ah. Okay. Jesus said, if you live by the sword, you shall die by the sword. So a lot of parents out there live by the sword. They live by the sword. And then you know how the rest goes. You understand what I mean? Okay, what you want to complain about? Oh, where's God? And then you take him out of school in 1963. Okay, what you want to complain? All right, let's get back to this text. It says over here, but do, uh, but I, says the Apostle Paul, I, probably ego, probably out of there, uh, ego, uh, do not, and that's probably may or ooh there, or maybe the both. We're going to check it out in Greek. Allow, okay, a woman, uh, gunaika, okay, to uh, teach. Ah, uh, uh, exercise, exercise authority, probably exousia is there. We're going to check it out. Over a man. Over a man, meaning, you know, you see, God doesn't want a woman to have exercise over a man in, 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 uh, in, uh, in business? Really? That's what it's talking about? You mean that you ain't got no women bosses hanging around? You, you ain't got no women bosses in, uh, I mean, anywhere, I don't care, in the military? You ain't got no women bosses as a principal of a school? You ain't got no women bosses in, 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 in regular business in a store or a shop. I don't care. There's plenty of those. He's not talking about that. And, and, and I mean, there's some women bosses that are better than, than men bosses. Like, he doesn't care about that. He's talking about the church. That's what he's talking about. 
but I, says the Apostle Paul, do not allow a woman, any woman, anywhere to teach? Meaning a woman can't teach in college? Really? That's what it's talking about? That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about the church. It's talking about the kick. It's talking about the church of God found and recorded in this very same book. In chapter 3, you understand what I'm saying in verse 13? And 15, I should say, rather. That's what it's saying. To exercise uh, authority over man, but to uh, remain, <laughs> to remain quiet? Is that talking about everywhere? Really? I, I, I don't see that. For it was Adam, let's read the context of well, verse 13. For it was Adam who was, okay, first created, okay, and then Eve. I think the, the, the Hebrew goes something like Hawa, something like that. I got to check it again. There's no such thing as Eve, you know, that, that, that word I'm talking about. I mean, of course, you know, the Eve exists. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the name, the word uh, Eve is not in Hebrew. We have it in English. Eve is not. It says Hawa, I think. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it says over here, and uh, it was not, verse 14, Adam who was uh, deceived, but the woman, okay, being deceived, fell into transgression. That's what it says over here. Verse 15. But women will be, okay, preserved or saved, says another translation, through the bearing of children. Okay, what does that mean? You gonna be saved if you give birth? I'm not talking about that either. It's saved from the accusations or the wiles of the devil, and, and that's uh, in this uh, book. You understand what I'm saying? From scandal, from accusation. From the wiles of the devil. You know what I mean? That's what it means. Well, let's look at the Greek. Because the Greek is the standard. And there ain't no such thing as the standard outside from Greek and Hebrew of their respective testaments. You understand what I mean? Let's go to Timothy. And that's just the deal. I hate to... to uh, to, uh, and I don't do it often But since I'm doing a Bible study I will um, shout at my uh, daughter Because she can handle it You know what I mean I don't want her interfering With her with uh, this Bible study right now Okay now Was I in chapter 2? I have a love Was I in chapter I gave, I gave her plenty of love Believe me Plenty of love But, but it, even a special child needs uh, discipline You know like uh you know, it needs to be nudged. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says over here. Now I think this is the. This is. Uh, oh, here it goes right here. But it says over here to teach, and this is an infinitive. This is a present infinitive active. Okay, and you got the ain here as the infinitive morphine forming this word in, to be an infinitive. The, elf, the epsilon iota nu at the end of this Greek word. Okay, and you see the uh, the me verb. It is a me verb, I believe, right? Let me check this out. No, this is not a me verb. No, it says over here uh, the da uh, game, the das game. Okay, just look at the the, the 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 lexical form to see if it's a me verb, and if it's not, it doesn't say uh, mu iota is not a me verb. You know, the delta iota and delta was was woo me in that direction. <laughs> okay, you understand what I'm saying? But delta iota delta alpha sigma, which means to synchronize, by the way, kappa epsilon iota nu, and then that those three letters at the end there is forming the infinitive. A construction and and there's a basket full of uh, infinitive mor morphemes. An infinitive is a is a verbal noun, an infinite noun, if you will, an infinite verb, or what? Uh, you, you know what I mean? An infinite or uh, what? Is in a present uh, uh, infinitive uh, active form. You understand? 
Now, uh, to teach. Okay, so to teach is actually first in the text over here. However, it says de, post positive, so you translate that first. Okay, all right. A woman, so that's first. Okay, probably because of some emphasis, though. Gunaiki, Gunaiki, that's in the data feminine singular construction, and the Yoda has proven out the feminine, feminine, uh, feminine, uh, f um, feminine construction over here. Gamma Upsilon, nowadays called Epsilon, Nu nowadays, nowadays called Ni, Alpha, which means rising, by the way. Yoda Kappa, Yoda with the grab marker. And then, so you got over here, Uk, your negative over here. Okay. I do permit, but you have the negative before that, so I do not. So if you were to translate this literally in English, it will say not, I do permit. Okay, but that doesn't make sense to us, so we don't do it that way. Uh, this is this is the present indicative active, okay? Present indicative, present indicative active. Present has to do with tense. Indicative has to do with mood and and uh, and I was gonna say alpha. Okay, the the um, active has to do with with uh, uh, voice. So epitrepo, epitrepo, epitrepo. Epsilon P, what has to do with a, with a Greek temple. Eora Tau, nowadays called Tough, or Rho, Epsilon with the acute marker, a P and Omega, which has, has to do with emerging from Omega. You understand know what I'm saying? And that was not actually the original uh, last Greek letter in the Greek alphabet. That actually was a parakisma, which had to do with pregnancy. So God let the scholars to drop that off, okay? I do permit, it says over there, epi uh, trepo. Not, ude. So it's sort of, sort of like a double negative over here. It says uke and it says ude. Okay? Uh, to uh, to teach, okay, and to, and to use authority. Okay, of... It says authentic, and this is an infinitive also. So epsilon iota nu, okay, that's an infinitive morphine. One of them, one of the basketful, like I said before. Authen, authentic, okay, authentic, okay. Uh, to use authority, okay, probably epi over, but let's let's check it out. A man. Uh, uh, Andras, a man. Aula is here. Al, uh, part of it anyway. This is an elision. Alpha lambda lambda uh, apostrophe. But uh, to be, and that's an infinitive. Uh, to be and deny here is an infinitive morphing. I believe that the remember the epsilon iota nu was an infin infinitive morphing. This, this is another infinitive morphing, I believe. Nu alpha iota. Okay, and I, and this is from uh, I believe Amy, and that's a me verb. Okay, a a Amy is a me verb. Okay, like diddle me. Okay, uh, to be. Okay, uh, and this is a present in, in, in infinitive uh, active. It says end there, but that's it means infinitive. Uh, uh, to be, uh, and that's an Amy word. In quietness. Now, this is a preposition, okay, N, found and recorded famously in John 1 1, okay, and archi in ologos, que ologos in prostonte, on que teos in ologos. You understand what I'm saying? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In quietness. So, you're going to have quietness in Greek over here, okay, uh, he, suhia. Jesuchia. Okay, quietness, and that's in the dative case. Dative feminine singular construction, and that's an improper diphthong there, the alpha in iota. Okay? In quietness. This is talking about a Christian woman in a Christian church. In a Christian church. That she's not supposed to teach other women. It doesn't say there in the text, uh, other women, but we know because of another verse of scripture, 
We know that a woman can teach other women and children so they can teach those groups of people and nobody else. And if a Christian woman denies or doesn't pay attention to this teaching, okay, she's showing that she's not submitting herself to Christ or to the kick. That's just a deal. And we're not supposed to do have anything to do with such people according to Romans chapter 16 and verses 16, 17, 18, and 19 all across the board. That's just a deal. We're supposed to separate ourselves and mark those people and separate ourselves from those people and uh, we have nothing to do with them because they serve their own belly. That's just a deal. And the head of the bellies, you understand what I'm saying? The head of those people, you know what I'm saying? It's Satan himself. And he's recorded in verse 20, unfortunately, in chapter 16 of Romans. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're saying that a woman gets up in the midst of the congregation and teaches the whole congregation, she's not being obedient to this teaching. She ain't supposed to teach And that's not It wasn't just for then The apostle Paul didn't say Well women are not supposed to teach Only to a certain time And after that time They're supposed to teach It's okay Ain't okay And if you say it's okay You don't know the scriptures The event in the garden Is a timeless thing In the sense that It brought everybody Into sin is recorded in history in a specific time, but because of that, women ain't supposed to teach, period. I don't care if the Lord doesn't come until through the year 3000 ain't supposed to teach. And that's why you have a church the way it is, because people don't believe in obeying his doctrine. That's just the deal. That's why you have the church being disobedient ah do not allow you know do you allow the, the woman Jezebel to teach that's just the deal that's just the deal Jezebel Jezebel was a woman now I think that Jezebel was named not because of Jezebel in the Old Testament but Jezebel there was a Jezebel teaching in the New Testament and she got everybody involved in fornication that's what's with her plenty of women like that hanging around in Christian Kirk that's just a deal da 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 I <laughs> see she laughs when I when I sing one of the songs, you know. Mi mundo. <laughs> you see, this is what I'm dealing with a special child, you know. But she's my baby. I love my baby Anna Devane. And I did get that uh, name Anna Devane uh, from General Hospital, you know. And my other child, Sean Donnelly, I got from General Hospital as well, Sean Donnelly. You know, the head of the WSB. You know what I'm saying? Right, my love? Anna Devane, that's her name. You know, Anna Devane. Anna Devane and Sean Donnelly are my children. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, boy. Can't make this stuff up. I waited 53 years, not for completely though, but I waited 50 year, 53 years for children, man. Finally got married and um, um, I think Anna was born when I was 54 though. So I waited 54 years for children. And the other child was born when I was uh, 56 or 57 or something like that, you know, in 2022. I'm 59 right now to my chagrin. You know what I mean? But let's check out the Greek again. It says over here to teach, okay, 
There's one infinitive right there to teach uh, the da, the das game, okay, and then to use authority, okay, um, uh, let me see what that is over here. Uh, to to teach and to have authority to uh, to use authority. I'll, let me see. Authentain. Authentain. So this has nothing to do with Ka Kamala Harris. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, becoming a president of the United States, and you see some people who call themselves Christian people who call themselves Republicans who don't know the Bible. And, 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 and oh, I won't vote for a woman because a woman is not supposed to. Because according to the Bible, uh, women are not supposed to have authority over men. Come on, you punk. Doesn't say that in the text. These people don't know nothing about the Bible, man. They, they, they know nothing about the scriptures. They couldn't break down the Bible if their life depended on it. You know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about the Bible. They call themselves, some of them call themselves Republicans. Some of them call themselves Democrats. Man, the same boat. It's like the love boat. It's like the Titanic, guys. This is, it has nothing to do with Kamala Harris. Or, or it had nothing to do with, with um, Hillary Clinton. Okay, losing in 2016 it has nothing to. That's gonna be a woman president. I don't know if it's gonna be uh, Harris. I don't know if it's gonna be Obama's daughter. One of them uh, could be, could grow up and become president. That'd be nice anyway. Hope he's alive to to see that. You don't hear nothing about their daughters. Uh, you don't hear nothing about their children. But one of them could break that glass ceiling, and 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 and, and it's gonna be broken. Women didn't have the right to vote until 1920. This republic has been around for about 240 years plus. Women didn't have the right to vote in the 1800s. You understand? In the 1900s. They didn't have the right to vote in 17 whatever and in 18 whatever. You understand? They didn't have the right to vote. They didn't have the right to vote, okay, in the earlier part of the 20th century. It took us 20 years to reach, you know, 1920, and then they had the right to vote. And then there's some women who don't vote. That's a freaking disgrace. I sound like, uh, you know, uh, 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 Denise's sister, okay? <laughs> I mean, that's a disgrace, that's a crime. Let's just put it that way, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That a woman won't even vote. I mean, it's so lazy eating, you know, uh, drinking sham, uh, you know, drinking champagne and eating caviar and potato chips and staying on the couch. And then she's witching wine and how about bitching wine and complaining about the, you know, politics. And she don't know nothing about it. I'm using strong language. So you got two infinities over here. You understand what I'm saying? You got uh, to teach and to use authority. You got two infinities over there. You understand what I'm saying? And, uh, however, you know what I'm saying? A woman that says over here. What well, about men? Well, there's some scoundrels in, in church history when it comes to men. How about Charles Chase Russell? Well, I don't, I don't allow men to, to teach you. Well, then nobody's going to teach. Okay, <laughs> somebody has to teach. Somebody has to preach. Okay, <laughs> that's the Greek R again. Hello. Somebody has to preach. Okay, <laughs> you understand? Somebody has to teach. Somebody has to do it. He, 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 the Apostle Paul couldn't say, "Why well, do not allow okay women and men to, 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 to preach and to teach." Now Priscilla, along with uh, Aquila, was 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 actually uh, tutoring. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? But sort of in a private way, uh, this man who didn't know um, too much about the gospel in in, in in the fullest sense of the word. So you see that team, that duo of of a, a husband and a, and a woman, not Adam and, and Steve, by the way.
You see what I'm saying? And we, you know, complaining about the about the you know the Republicans, but the Democrats. This Adam and and, and Steve it has to stop, guys. And, uh, you know what I mean? And then it seeps into the kirk, into the church. So you have a homosexual being a pastor of a church. Come on, man. If you don't get rid of that stuff, if you don't cut it out like the cancer itself, you're going to have, you know, the, the Babylonian captivity of the church. That's just a deal. All right, so that's just it. So it says over here, the woman, but you can't say the woman and the man. <laughs> you understand? Because nobody's going to teach. Somebody has to teach and preach. <laughs> you understand? Somebody has to do it. But then, but then there's the other way. It is the other extreme that a woman can't say nothing in the church. It has to be silent all across the board, not according to other pastors of the scripture. They could teach women, other women. They could they could teach children. That's just a deal. But they can't have authority over man because man was created first. First, then came the woman. Yes, I don't put this not to put the cart before the horse. Now in the honeymooners, I saw uh, that that uh, you know Ralph was saying to get back to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just a tell. Ralph was saying to to Alice because they were always you know witching and whining and complaining and stuff like that. The both of them. You know what I'm saying? He was saying, well, they wouldn't have been uh, any, and they wouldn't have been America if it wasn't no Christopher Columbus. And then she said, so sexy and sassy. Well, they wouldn't have been a Christopher Columbus if it wasn't for his mother. And then the people, you know, laughing and squealing, and I would have, I would have said right back, yeah, there wouldn't have been no, yeah, there wouldn't have been no, uh, you know, uh, about his father. There wouldn't have been no Columbus if it wasn't for his father. Who's praying forth? Who shot him like a cannon outside? It was his father? That's where he came from. It didn't come from his mother. Primarily. That's what I would have said to Alice. You know, uh, little snotty. Come on, man. It's like, like Joe Biden all over again. Come on, man. And then everybody laughs at that. You know, and everybody, he stops right there. Jackie Gleason and Ralph Cranston stops right there. Don't, don't let her win the argument. They wouldn't have been no Christian Christopher Columbus if it was his very mother. Come on, man. How about his father? It would have ended the argument right there because you can't go beyond that. I just I would have won the argument. <laughs> All right, that's just it. Now let's read a little bit before what went before this. This, this text of scripture. Let's read a little bit before. Let's read around verse eleven. You understand? It says over here a a woman. Okay, must, uh, let me see, must quietly receive instruction with entire submissiveness. You see, that's the attitude that you have to have first before receiving instruction. I saw this in college that women were saying this is not for today. It doesn't say any time period where this teaching is to be discarded in front of the church. That's a deal. Right, my love? <laughs> I'm just laughing, you know. <laughs> I just gave her milk before I came on, by the way. You know. You know what I mean? And I, I just touch her now and she's dry, uh, like a button. You know what I mean? Oh, let's look at the whole context. Is there somebody, uh, Angelo? I'm looking at the whole context. I'm looking at Stanford Stern. I'm looking at the bowel of the ship and, uh, the, you know, and beyond. I mean, I'm looking at the sails. I'm looking at the, at the plank. 
I'm looking at the the, 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 the light bolts, everything. That's just the deal. It's just like, you know, unless y'all want to make a shipwreck of yourself yourselves. You want to make a uh, uh, shipwreck of yourselves like Gillingham's Island all over again if you disobey this teaching? You ain't in God's will if, you, if you're teaching church. Everybody. You women out there ain't supposed to teach everybody. You're in the transgression. Women are supposed to teach other women that they're supposed to shut up in church over a man. That's it. They got to be submissive. That's it. They got to be quiet. That's it. They got to shut up. That's it. That's why we got people like Rippliger saying, oh, there's only one kind of a Bible that we should use and stuff like that. I know, I know I'm a woman. I know I'm not supposed to teach and preach, teach and preach but I must do it anyway and all hell breaks loose. So you got that dragon woman, you know, Rippling girl who's about 80 years old. She should know better. Popping on the scene around 1993 and writing that disgusting book, you know, a New Age Bible uh, versions and didn't have any scholarship. You see? That's just it. And then she's teaching in church. And then you got these stupid people believing what she says. And then fighting with their wives and fighting with the pastors and fighting with their brothers in church and stuff like that. And, and the NIV that they used to use and stuff like that for 20 years and throw it away. And then they, they listen to this woman who's not supposed to usurp authority over the man. That's what it says. That's what it says. And then there's women to do it anyway because they don't love Jesus. They don't love the Bible. They're not submissive. That's just the deal. So I, I just to finish, I want to be with my baby. I mean, I don't see anywhere where Kamala Harris or anybody else does a woman running for president in the United States of America, whether she be black or white or green. I don't see that she shouldn't run. I don't see why she shouldn't win. I don't see why she shouldn't be president of the United States of America. Uh, the, the, the president of the United States of America in the 1930s during the Great Depression, was that a woman or a man? Come on. It was a man. Uh, the president of the United States of America during World War I or World War II, was that a woman or a man? Still got us into trouble. Uh, the person who was the president of the United States of America who got us into the Great Recession in the year 2008 and you know, went all across the board, was that a woman or a man? That was a, that was a man. The president of the United States uh, during the COVID uh, uh, breakout, you understand what I'm saying? You know, Trump. <laughs> was that a woman or a man? Huh? I'm just saying. Uh, during the Civil War, was that a woman or a man? Was Lincoln a woman or a man? I mean, a woman can't get us any more into trouble. Don't give me this trouble atmosphere. Oh, a woman's going to get us into trouble, man. We've been in trouble ever since we were born. The United States. I mean, who were the presidents, I mean, of the United States of America during, okay, you understand what I'm saying? Uh... The war in the 1960s. In the 1970s, Vietnam. Was that a woman or, or were, there, were, 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 those, were those women and men? They were men. How about the Nixon crisis? Was it Mrs. Nixon or Mr. Nixon? You understand what I'm saying? What a game. Huh? Was that a woman or a man? Huh? I'm just saying. And the trouble we got from 19, uh, what, 1976 all the way to 1980? I mean, he was a nice guy, you know, Carter and everything, but it wasn't a great presidency. Was that a woman or a man? I'm just saying. Especially uh, during the Great Depression. What, 24% unemployment or whatever it was? I mean, it was in the 20s. 
Was that a woman or a man? I already asked that question. Okay. I'm just saying. I mean, you people act like, you know, women are going to wreck everything, man. It's already busted in the United States, man. Can't get any worse. Don't vote because of gender. I mean, uh, the reason why Hillary Clinton didn't win way back in 2016 was the uh, uh, WikiLeaks. You understand what I'm saying? Because she did that that that, that mistake with the with the emails, man. Huh? That's why she didn't win. Couldn't trust her. And not only that, people just didn't come out and vote. She had a nine point lead over here, an eight point lead over there, and then people decided to stay home and not vote. Oh well, Hillary, Hillary Clinton, she when she got this in the mag. Well, why I gotta freeze my butt off and vote? I mean, I mean, she'll win this thing, uh, you know. That's so why I gotta vote. Why well, I don't have to vote? I mean, so I don't have to get off my couch. And then the people, uh, and this is what Hillary hates, because this is why she lost, really. And this is why she lost. You got some people thinking that, that, that Hillary's going to smile if I say this. Well, oh, Hillary, you know, son, I love you so much. But you know, son, you know, I thought you were going to win. So I didn't really come out and vote. Oh, does she hate that boy? <laughs> Don't say that in front of Hillary Clinton. Don't say it. Don't, I'm coming, my love. I'm coming, hon. Don't say that. Don't say. Don't think that you're so sexy and sassy in front of Hillary Clinton. If she's gonna kiss you, kiss your rear end when you say, "Oh, Hillary, you know what I'm saying? I, well, I did. I decided to stay home. I didn't vote for you. I should have voted for you. Oh my God. Oh gosh. I should have voted for you, but I got. I just decided to stay home. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh Lord. And that, you know, who would have thought that Monica Lewinsky would have got involved, okay, in 2016, because, you know, he was running up the joint. You know, Trump was running up that, 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 that the historical affair, okay, between Clinton and uh, Monica Lewinsky. You know what I'm saying? Not that his skirts were clean either. At the same time, he was running up the bill. You understand what I'm saying? Against uh, uh, Hillary. Okay, he was hiding the fact that he was touching people underneath the skirts and some paid it, paid somebody off to shut up. <laughs> Found guilty in court because of that. You understand what I'm saying? Hush money. He paid some hush money so his dirty uh, laundry wouldn't be exposed. No, no pun intended. You understand what I'm saying? But let me, let me, let me, let me put a bow tie over this. Ah, let me just touch this real quick before it fades away. I don't see any evidence in the Bible where, where, um, I mean, you even see, you even see a judge that, that was a woman. One of the judges, right, was a woman in, in the book of Judges. I mean, that's just a deal. I mean, women have their roles. Men has their roles. That's all. Hey, my fault that 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 man came that the man came first. Somebody had to be created first. I think my baby wants to sleep. So I mean, if I don't do this today, I'm never gonna do it because she's always you know complaining and stuff like that. I don't. I'm not having a break. You know, I'm teaching a no annihilation series, the, the no annihilation series, and I, I haven't done it for a couple of days because it's, you know, she's really, really complaining a lot. But I don't see why, 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 why Kamala Harris uh, shouldn't shouldn't be president of the United States. Uh, eventually, that will stop. <clears throat> eventually, that will be the deal. Now, is it going to happen 104 years after women got a right to vote? I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know the history of the United States like that. I'm not a prophet. I can't. I cannot say I'm not a son of a prophet. I was a. I was a son of a prophet. A prophetess. She was a prophetess. My mother. But I'm not a prophet myself. Can a woman can a woman president be better than Putin? You're darn right. Can a president be a woman president be better than than what's going on in China? You're darn right. 
Can a woman, I mean, uh, president or whatever you want to call, uh, call, uh, you know, those people, be better than uh, the one in North Korea? Come on, man. We all know the answer to that. I mean, not that we have uh, the same sort of thing going on, but God, how about Queen Elizabeth? Didn't she do a great job? She could have been a great president of the United States if she was, uh, you know, running for office and stuff like that. She was born in the United States. She could, she could, she did a better job than a lot of presidents. She wore, she wore that crown proudly uh, during, you know, all them years. What was it, like 60 years? What was it? I don't, I don't know what was it. I mean, she was beautiful, too. The boot. Let me see. I think she, she became president, like, right, I'm not president, I'm the queen, like, around what? I'm, I'm, 1950s, though? Could she be, could she, could she have done a better job of forgetting my English here in the Philippines? It's a disgrace. It's almost a crime. Could she have done a better job? Okay, how about that? Than 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 uh, Cuba's Fidel Castro? Come on, man. we know the answer to that, man. Stop with your male chauvinism. I mean, Queen Elizabeth could have been a wonderful president or a prime minister in another country or whatever the case may be. How about Michelle Obama? You think she can't be a good president? It, 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 but it has nothing to do with that, though. Primarily, it has to do, did God give a, give that kind of authority, you know, outside of the church? And obviously, the answer is yes. Because this is not talking about the state. If you want the Apostle Paul talking about the state, man, he, 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 you have him talking about the state in Romans chapter 13. This is not talking about the state. He's not talking about the state. Is Angelo Quinones giving glory to God the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit? God is not the God of the dead. Macaroni, understand what I'm saying? With a cop, but of the living, and that means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob were very much alive at the time Jesus said those words. I'm just, that's just, that's just a deal. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> And please leave your comment on the screen. You understand know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's like Joe Biden, like I said. Come on, man. I mean, you, you, you can't make it up. You can't make this stuff up, though. It's not that Kamala Harris is a woman. Is a what kind of a, uh, of a president is she going to be? The United States needs help. <laughs> needs help, man. It needs to be operated on. First of all, it needs a diagnosis. You understand know what I'm saying? And then it needs an operation. It needs a doctor. It needs to be fixed. I mean, the United States needs to be healed. It needs to walk again. In the cool of the day with God. You understand what I'm saying? It is not a Christian nation. It's not. Those days are over. Talking about the 1950s are over? Well, those days are over where it's called a Christian country. I don't see it. I don't see it in the, in the Republican uh, side of the camp. And I don't see it in the Democratic side of the camp. You understand? I don't see it. Man, and he's healing, man. The United States stinks. Bitching and whining and com complaining before in front of, in front of, between the two parties. Shooting in school. Cops don't know how to do nothing. Some of them anyway, so they shoot somebody in the car because they're scared to death. Well, why are you joining the force? Half of the country voting for a dictator. And the bitch ain't wanting to complain when he becomes one, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, the United States needs help. <laughs> Man.
I mean, I love Barack. I mean, I love, I love me some Obama. You know what I'm saying? But when he said, when he said, we're gonna change the United States, we're gonna change the world. He ain't changed nothing. I, I really respect Barack Obama. I love Barack Obama. I mean, you know, I'm a Democrat. But let's just just, just say how it is. No party's gonna fix anything until Shiloh comes. United States ain't fixing fixing nothing. I mean, we we'll look at the state of affairs. I mean, the United States is putrid. It stinks. I mean, we got a man president, dog. It don't have to do nothing with gender. If God didn't want, you know, I mean, I just, uh, and this is hypocrisy. Oh, well, I don't want a woman to become president of the United States of America, but you got a whole bunch of women who are uh, senators and, and House of Representatives and uh, a woman, uh, you had a woman speaker, you know, now she Pelosi. And then you had, uh, you know, uh, women governors and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It can't be any worse than J.D. Vance. I mean, you know, cat ladies and stuff like that. Come on, man. Beefing and whining and complaining because you don't want a woman president. Come on, man. Get off of it. Some uh, some people are in the twilight zone. It's like they did a time warp. They're thinking they're in the nineteen twenties. All right, so that's just a deal. I'm not talking about that at all. This is fixed. This is locked, stocked and barreled right in the church. You understand what I'm saying? This has nothing to do with the government. It has all to do with the kick. Who should teach? Who should preach? Man in the church. Should it be should it be a woman who got us into his mess? Meaning, you know, the temptation, you know what I mean? Then she brought it to her husband and all hell broke loose, you know. That's, that's why she, you know, God don't want a woman to preach and teach over the man. And not only that. Not to usurp any kind of authority. So when the pastors are gone from the church because they took some kind of vacation or they're sick or something like that, man, I don't want to see his wife get up and teach and pre get up and teach and teach and preach over the congregation. Oh well, my husband, you know, he's the pastor, so it gives me the authority to become the pastor until he comes back. Come on, man, you see? That's called the Babylonian captivity of the church. All over again. This is Angela Quinones. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.